Hello. Hi happy, there. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. Thanks for joining. Hope everyone had a great week. We we did. We're headed to our next destination. Where is it? Should we share? We're heading back to Central America. We are going to Guatemala. Yes. So it's a direct flight, three hour flight, but we gained some hours on a time zone difference. So we land an hour. I know, I love that. Yeah. I, I always love when we're gaining time. It's always the worst coming back, but that's okay. That's for another day. Yeah, not too bad. So we've got, we've got several days out in Guatemala, a couple of cool things planned. I'm really looking forward to one of them. Ooh, I don't know. I'm excited about two of them, personally. Mm. And I was doing some research, of course, to look to see where we might want to have dinner, have a couple of drinks. I think I found a really good spot, so I'm super excited about this. Awesome. Well, let's board and we'll take you with us. See you soon. arrived at the good hotel and we are room number 10. Let's check out this super cute room. Look at this. Looks like a, looks like a cleaning cross away. How awesome is this? So check out this view here. We are room 10 and we're over in the corner. Walk in and you have... Hi. Hello. You've got this welcome, cute little welcome. section here, organizer, and you've got like your closet right over here. This bed is humongous. Little nightstands. This mirror. I love it. Spot to put your suitcase. Let's take a look at this bathroom. Did you already check it out? Oh wow. Snazzy. Look at that. So cute. Look at all these amenities we've got here. Hand soap, body lotion, vanity kit, hair dryer. That's nice. Good deal. Good yeah. Deal. Huge shower. Yes. Shampoo, shower gel, conditioner, all there. Yep. All the necessary items. Oh, yeah, they're there. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dig in this room. It's going to be cute. So it looks like um There's no the TV. Room. Oh yeah, there's oh yeah. There's, there's no TV. No TV. No TV. That's alright. But look at can we also check out that is a pretty cool feature right here. Light, very trendy. Um, so I did notice that you could just see right into people's rooms, so we'll have to be careful and close these guys up especially when we're changing. We are really close to reception. That's where we checked in, right over there. And they have a little restaurant over there. So I think, gosh, snacks are in order. What do you think? I think so. Yes. So we're gonna get ready. The weather is um, pretty lame right now. It's raining, but it's gonna be like that all weekend. So we'll be, we'll have to adjust. This is outside of our room at the Good Hotel. So it looks like all of the rooms are named after children, school children. And for every night that you stay at this hotel, a child can go to school for an entire week. I think that's pretty awesome. It's one of the reasons we picked this hotel because it does good for the community. The rooms are of minimalist design. Oh, for sure. And this is this is a company from from uh, Europe. Yeah, there's another location in London, there's I one think. In London, they just opened one in Guatemala City. Um, yeah, so yeah. It, it is. I like it. There's a common area here. There's another common area over there that has a restaurant of sorts. So we're gonna head out. The place that we wanted to 
go to dinner hasn't opened yet. So there's a chocolate museum? Yes. So of course, so we're gonna go to the... uh, chocolate and coffee, it's well known. So there is a little chocolate museum slash store that we're gonna go check out yes, now. Yes, yes. This is the inside of the common area for the restaurant. Yeah. Wait, is that a, a crepe with bananas on it? It looks like a pizza with ice cream on it. <laughs> we may have to try that. At least take a bite. Get one to share and try it out. A rainy, chilly day. Glad we brought some sweaters because really I only brought shorts and I don't, I don't know that that's gonna be sufficient. Check this out. This is, this is outside of the hotel walking around. get splashed by water. <laughs> yeah, all, like like all old town areas, I mean, it's all like cobblestone. It is umbrella time. I'm going to put this guy up. Yep, I think, yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'm good there. Yeah, because if I hover at the side of you here, I'm gonna get the pour over from the rain so <laughs> let's let's skip that oh man I, if, if only if you could see out into the distance there's the the mountains I guess uh, it's all it's all surrounded by this mysterious fog hopefully we'll get some sun or a little bit of a break so you can kind of see because it, it's not going to do it much justice with all the rain and the clouds, but it, it certainly, certainly, uh, oh, watch, watch the puddle, watch the puddle, big jump, Coca-Cola, I wonder why there's, that street sign, that street post is sponsored by Coca-Cola, apparently, <laughs> it's not too bad, all right, let's figure out where we're going, find this chocolate museum or wherever it is we're venturing off to. All right, we're still walking around, but we're finding some really cool architectures and old style buildings around here. So as it turns out, it seems like this area, Antigua, Guatemala, used to be the capital before it was moved and relocated to Guatemala City. So this is the, this is the plaza. Okay. So we can just walk around the whole thing, I think. Yeah, that'll work. So that's... Oh wow, look at this. Selling stuff, they're all sitting down around the square. I bet when the weather's nice, they also sit inside the park, too. Probably. I probably could have gotten away with uh, wearing my raincoat. <laughs> rain jacket, light rain jacket. I mean, it's it's a coat, though. Like, yeah, maybe that would have been a little too heavy. I don't, I don't think so. I would have been okay with it. Why? Guatemala. We were talking about this on the way over here, but while we were at the expo, and if you haven't seen those videos, check out that video on the expo. But we visited a whole bunch of different countries that were welcoming everybody for tourism, things like that. And Guatemala was one of them. It was, and she was so friendly, and that, that's one of the things that We've read a lot about that the folks are super friendly here in this country. It's part of like their their slogan. So yeah, it's so close. Why not? Why not try it? Especially for a long weekend like this weekend. Across like the puddles. street, we need to get from here to there. <laughs> let's go. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's hop around. Hop. 
huh? Huh? Alright, that wasn't as bad as <laughs> what it might have been. We, <laughs> we survived. Yeah, it looks like it's lined with a whole bunch of shops and such around here. So it'll be fun to check them out and see what's going on. This is cool. We've made it to the Chaco Museum. And uh, take a look. Places they have a little workshop back here that you can go in and check out how they make chocolate. There's also different stations you can try chocolate, and they have ice cream as well. So this will be a cute little stop. Um, and then figure out because it looks like there's lots of stores nearby. So I think we're just gonna wander until we um, feel like it's time for yeah. dinner. Yeah, I mean check out check out some of this stuff. Oh my gosh! So what, what's try. what's over there? No, I think you pay for it. It's Oh yeah. <laughs> Five pizza. <out. laughs> so a little bit less than a, a dollar a piece it seems like. But look at the oh some some gummy worms dipped in some chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Gracias. Oh, Gracias. Yeah. Little chocolate, hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. It's that and uh, sugar and water. Mm. Oh, that's it's, it's really good. Yeah. See, see, see. see. It's like a hot chocolate without the milk. So it's just the chocolate, sugar, and hot water. So you toast it. Oh. So this is what they get from the seed. 70% cacao. 70% cacao. <laughs> wow, this, this is pretty serious. Look, mine is shaped like a little kitty. Like a little owl. Oh, I was gonna say an owl. Kitty. Oh, wow. It's bitter, very bittersweet. Oh my gosh. That one. That one was strong. Look at this cluster. It's delicious though. Look at that. Estos son granos de cacao caramelizados. So, uh, cocoa beans caramelized. That's good. Yeah, I love chocolate. It was like cocoa beans with some caramel on it. Very sticky, but quite delicious. Maybe we got some chocolates to go. Yeah. Brownies and like bars. Oh. These are all handmade. Oh. oh okay, so these are the workshops. That's the workshops over there, okay. Oh, it's pretty cool. There's a workshop going on. Yeah, I mean I feel like we could just split something if you wanna if you wanna get something. Yeah, that sounds good. I want the conquistador. Yo voy a pedir el artesanal. Artesanal es 50 cacao, 50 azúcar. Yeah. And it looks like they've got some, some pastry items. Yeah. So we're gonna try one of these yeah. banana Those breads. Party. Oh, right yes. Wow. Okay, our drinks have arrived. Look at this. So this is the chocolate artesanal, the artisanal chocolate. So it's 50%. Um, cocoa and then 50% sugar. I'm gonna be all hyper the rest of the afternoon. And then, what did you get? I got the conquistador. Yes. And the bread. Yeah, he's right. And I, I think it's just like a. Yeah, it's a it's hot, chocolate. hot chocolate. It's got cinnamon. It's got milk. It's got cloves. There was something else that he mentioned in there. Ah. So, yes, yeah, cinnamon is here, so I can add cinnamon, I can add some clove, look like there's some sugar here. Oh, and look, he's bringing our... Oh, and... Ah, rico. Gracias. 
Yum. and some banana, banana bread. bread with some dollops of whipped cream. I love it. Very good. All right, you wanna you wanna go first? Yes. Yes. All right. First of all, I'm loving this mug. Digging it. Yeah, you got a clay pot. I... <laughs> Oh gosh, it's so chocolatey. You can taste the bitterness in there, but it's so sweet that it's it's balancing out how bitter it is. Do, do you need more sugar? No. Oh my gosh, 100% <laughs> sugar. I'm good. All right, let's give mine a try. The Conquistador. Right, let's see what we get. It's very, very chocolatey, <laughs> but mine isn't sweet. No? I'm going to add sugar. Uh oh. All right. We've got several spoons here, spoons to go around. Yeah, let's get some of that in there. Okay. All right. So. Are you gonna, can you taste the cinnamon in there? No, I didn't add any cinnamon. Oh, okay. So it didn't already yeah. have it in there. Yeah, so the cinnamon is here. Don't put a little bit of all right, all right. Now we give that a little mixy mix. You gotta like the spoon, like the spoon. I'm not doing that. What? I like the spoon. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I can try this. Okay. Yeah. With the cinnamon and the sugar, it it made the flavors more complex. Before it was just a hot chocolate but like a not so it was almost like baking chocolate like the like a little pellet yeah so try mine you need to try okay let's give this one a go oh wow this is sweet you need to make it even more sweet. Right? That's yeah. so yeah, it's not just me. It it needs more sugar. <laughs> and me maybe maybe a little bit more cinnamon in there. Yeah, I think that's that's the ticket. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go in for this banana bread. So I'm gonna do a little dollop of cream here. Yum. Just as I expected, it's very, it's like fluffy yet dense at the same time. The flavors are very, very good. It's very fresh. And it's also got some sort of nuts in there. And some little seeds. You see those little, it's like little sesame seeds. Get in there, babe. Right, let's try this out. I love making banana bread. It's one of the only things I know how to make. All right, I'm gonna go with a. Oh man, you went all savage on I us. I did. I did. <laughs> I was gonna. Oh man. All right. What's happening here? I didn't. I didn't want my first try to just be crust, so I tried to get in the middle there, and now I'm trying to get some chocolate. And okay, there we go. I got it. So we've got the banana bread. We've got some whipped cream and some chocolate. Okay. That's yummy. And the crust is actually quite delicious too. Yeah, this was good. Yeah, enjoying it. All right, first taste of Guatemala, major success. Yes, I concur. Can't wait to try more. All right, we're gonna finish this off and then we'll see what else we get into. The street is still lively. People are still yeah, it looks, you out know, and about. Yeah, there's a lot of people out and about considering how much it's raining, which is very uh, encouraging. Yeah. They have a lot of cafes also. Yeah, coffee culture must be pretty serious oh, here yeah. because oh, there was maybe three or four cafes like in a square. Okay, hold this. I'm gonna turn around and reveal what it is that we're looking at here. There. Let me see if I can find out where we're at. This is this is the corner that we're just hanging out at right now. Oh wow! Oh, I think you definitely can see the the mountain and the GoPro there. Look at that. So, 
the, there's like a mountain range that's kind of all around us. I mean, back there, there's one too. This is really cool. Can you see what it says on that sign there? Something Antigua. Oh, it's a school. So we're gonna go up, over to the right one, and then up again to the left. Okay, see you there. When you look up Antigua, Guatemala, this is this is probably what you're gonna see. Yes, for sure. This is All like right, so the, the gateway. Oh, we're going through it? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, the last one that we're going to get over here is called Okay. So it looks like all kinds of restaurants here. Yeah. One of the things that we were just talking about, the insides of all of these restaurants and cafes is stunning. So modern, so beautiful the way they've decorated. And every travel agency, every store seems to have its own little cafe. So you are not gonna go hungry in this country or thirsty for that matter. Nope, oh, a little cigar shop. Coffee, chocolate. Ooh, look at all those wines, babe. Yum. So yeah, I think we're gonna head up somewhere to have a drink after dinner. But this restaurant I found is uh, traditional Guatemalan food. I don't really know what that entails, so we'll find out together. Check out what it's about. Check out that market. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I mean. It does get dark a little bit earlier here. It gets dark at 6.30. A little bit different than uh, 24 hours of light <laughs> right. in Iceland. Oh, that must be the cathedral. And then um, sunrise is at 5.30 there. Sorry. <laughs> you keep hitting me with the oh, umbrella. There's our restaurant. Oh, okay. There, there's our restaurant. All right. We're going to go in, scope it out and uh, we'll show you what we get. The, the music was really loud, so I, I took out the, the audio and showed you a few clips of what we got. Oh, yeah, let, let us go in there. This is this is this little market oh, look, spot. Oh, she wants to show us. She wanted to show us her scarf. Oh. Hola. Hola. Muy bonito. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Look, look, at, look at that. Wow. Did, did, did you make this? My mother made it. Your mother very, made very it? Good. Oh, wow. It's handmade. Handmade. How much is it? It's about 300 quetzal. 300. Is that a runner? Yeah. Table runner. Colors. Of course. Of course. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Wow. How much you want it to pay? You can bargain. This one is half a history. We have the kettles, the song, the volcano, the flowers, and the plant coffee. Oh, wow. Yeah. How nice. How much you pay, madam? I tengo a but pero te I Excepto los dólares. I probably have a credit card. Mastercard. I'm going to take it. 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 She's saying 200 quetzales. Because it's my first selling. I don't sell nothing today. Which one do you like, babe? Um, let's see. Can we see it in the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Tienes otros colores? Sí, amiga. Te puedo she mostrar. has other colors. Oh, okay. Oh, here. Oh. I guess I could turn off the hard closet. Yeah. Oh, she does have a bunch. 
they, they got us, they got us. They got us, but this is really pretty for our table. Yes, oh, Which one do you like? I like that one. Yeah? Because it's got the blue in it too. Okay. Maybe, Ooh, you take like two. The green too. Maybe you take two, I give you one over 350 for two. 350 for two. Hmm. You buy the nice work. You don't buy machine. The, the blue, the, the blue. blue. We're, we're gonna go with the blue one. Yeah, these are these are really nice. Yeah, they are really pretty. So which one? That one, Ben? Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah, it's it. So I lo pongo en esta misma bolsita. Gracias. Son 27, ¿no? 27, sí. Por el tipo de cambio que a mí me lo cambian más barato por no tener cuenta en el banco. There we go. It, it was it was a it good was one really, though. It's it's, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, we do it like it. We do our like table, so do, Yeah. And her her mother made it handmade. Hola, gracias. Oh. Since we were in Puerto Rico, and yeah. wow, yeah. So, oh my, it's like that tequila smelling one. Oh my gosh, we smell, we had that in Vegas. Wow, yeah. So, we're in the textile shop. This is really cool. So, yeah. Very, very cool stuff. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep searching around. See what else is in there. Wow. Yeah, this is some some more. For those of you that follow uh, our blog, I keep track of all of the places that we visit on a Google list. So then you'll have it and I often add notes so especially on places that are memorable like this one this is one of those things you don't want to miss yeah so check out the vlog it has some of the trips that we didn't video so some of our earlier trips actually we were sitting down in the, the chocolate coffee shop area and we were thinking this is our 17th international trip and how many do we have in the States Eight, eight different states so together. So eight states, 17 countries together. So yeah, there's, there's that. Look what we found. So we enjoy collecting these. You guys. It's got the chicken butts on it. That's awesome. I, I love that they incorporate the culture. Look at that mural. Yeah, check that out. All of these places have like these courtyards. Like, check this out. If we walk over here, I mean, this is this is a massive Starbucks. This was just the small area up front, but then look at this. Oh, so it's got like one of those reserve bars, that, but. So a lot of the, the shops, the restaurants, the coffee shops, anything we've stumbled upon so far, they have like these outdoor courtyard looking things that you could sit, hang out. It's raining now, so it doesn't work too well for us. So yeah, we were just on our way to the bar, which is somewhere over here. And we we're walking along this street coming this way. And we saw that. So that's why we stopped in. You were saying the bar is up that way? I think so, yeah. Okay. So as you can see, it's kind of busy around here. It's... It is. Well, it, it is only 8.23. Yeah. People are still out and about. When we first arrived, it didn't look busy at all. This was like 4.30 when we arrived to the hotel after our 
two hour taxi ride. Almost two hours. Almost, almost, two, hours. almost two hour taxi ride. And it didn't look this busy, but now the, the shops are open. There's all these cafes and bars and everything that's open. It is pretty cool that they're open till late, right? Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's head that way. All right, we're gonna head that way. Well, we found it. Antigua Brewing Co. and Yulu. Well, we're gonna go in and have a drink. And see what this is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're and it getting. It sounds like soap. they have good music. Maybe it's even live music. Let's do it. That bar was pretty dope. There was, well, it was a bar within a bar within a bar. If you guys ever saw the movie Inception, that's what was happening there. So we walk in and there was a bar. And then we walked through that bar to another bar and there was a live band. You might still be able to hear them a little bit. And then we walked through that bar, through a telephone booth, and ended up in another bar. That was so cool. It was like a little cave. Yeah, and... And they didn't have a menu. No, they didn't, so it was just a full bar. Yeah, you had and to basically tell them, like, what did you like? Yeah, and as you saw from the time lapse that we did there, it was pretty chill, we, we had a good time. It was still a little loud. Not bad at all. So now, where to? I think we're gonna turn right. Let me make sure this is, uh, maybe left. <laughs> we're gonna turn somewhere. And we're gonna head we're back turning. to the, the main square. So we're gonna get back to the hotel. Yes, so we're gonna head back to the main square and then get over to the hotel. We've made it back to the hotel. The good hotel. There it is. We had a pretty awesome first day here. Between the food, the bars, walking around, checking out the shops. Just the adventure of getting to Antigua also was, was part of it too. So really cool day. Yep. That'll be this episode. We really hope you uh, continue to join us for the rest of this Guatemala series. We're excited. We've got some really fun things planned, so stay tuned. See you next week. Have a great week until then. Bye.